everybody welcome back to the channel Tim Mann here now I'm here to talk to you about a film that's gone well under the radar that nobody speaks about anymore and they really really should it's Bill Paxton's frailty what a movie nobody talks about this movie anymore and I'm really surprised I don't know why it's a gem a gem of a movie now this is Bill Paxton's directorial debut if you don't count the one he did fish heads years prior but this is a cracking little thriller, serial killer, horror movie. It's it's great. It really is. It's his, Like I say, it's his directorial debut. He starred in it as well. It's about the God's Hand, God's Hand killer. I don't want to give you... Too, if you haven't seen it, I don't want to give too much away. Um, I'll give you the basis, the premise, okay? So Bill Paxson is a single dad... Raising Two Boys, The Meeks Family. It's based in 1979. Dad, two boys. Everything's great. Everything's fine. They're doing great. And then, all of a sudden, the dad gets a vision from God. And he gets a mission. And he has to dispose of demons. And that's all I'm really going to say. Because anything else will just literally spoil it for you. I mean, you've got... Bill Paxton, Matthew McConaughey, all right, all right, all right. You know what I mean? It's a great cast. The kids are in, in it are great. What I love about this movie is it was praised by James Cameron, because he's his pal, Bill Paxton's pal, isn't he? Sam Raimi was praising it as well, and Stephen King. And Stephen King even said that this was his favourite movie of that year. So go and check out Frailty, man. It's it's This movie is very loosely based off Joseph Callinger, a.k.a. The Shoemaker. He's a serial killer from the 70s. He murdered three, three people and tortured four families with the aid of his son from 1974 to 1975. But if you want to find out more about serial killers, speak to Liam, because it's not my bag. It's his. Definitely is. But it's loosely based on that. And... It's just a great movie, man. People just don't talk about it anymore. If if you if you're watching this and you've never seen Frailty, I urge you to go out and buy it. And you will go out have to go out and buy it because this is not on any streaming sites. I think you can get it on Prime, but you've got to pay for it. Boo, who jog on ain't doing that. So go out and find it. It's a gem, an absolute gem. Now the only shame about this movie is is that there's a score by Brian Tyler. Now, Brian Tyler, you know that name. Yeah, that's right. He did A Few Final Destinations. He did Bubba Hotep. He did Constantine. He did even did the new Scream and the other new Scream as well. So he's, he's a great composer. But the only bummer is this is only available on CD, the score, which is a bummer. Stick it on vinyl. I'll buy it. We'll review it. There you go. So this is why I'm making a video about this because I can't really do a We can't do a review, a review episode because there's no score, to, to, no vinyl to do. So... I've given it to you right here. This is my recommendation. And get yourself Frailty. Superb. I'm absolutely devastated that we don't have Bill Paxton anymore. That He's gone. It's such a shame. He's such a great actor. Powers Booth is in this movie as well. And he is a great actor as well. His name's Powers. Powers Booth. Come on. And it's a shame actually because we lost them both in 2017. Which is a bummer. It, it really is. So that's it. That's my little video on Frailty. Go and check it out. And if you have seen it, message me in the comments. But let's keep it spoiler free for the people who haven't. But if you haven't seen it, go and get it and then come back and let's chat about it. Because I want to talk to people about this movie. I love it. And nobody seems to be talking about it. And it's really, really weird because it's great. All right, people. So until next time, stay safe, stay tuned, stay sick. Tim, man.